Hello Internet, Brian here for work to game videos and this is a Final Fantasy news break. Today we are talking about Final Fantasy XIV's free logging campaign. Final Fantasy XV is also getting free content and game updates, plus Japan FanFest streaming tickets are now on sale. So we've got a lot of cover, so let's go ahead and get started. First things first, Final Fantasy XIV is having a free login campaign going on right now. That's right, all you need to do is log into the game and you can play for free up to 96 consecutive hours, meaning the clock starts as soon as you log in and start updating. It's also not true that you get a 90, 96 hours as your free time will end on the fourth day from when you've logged in. So take that to mind when you're planning your four day tour. The campaign runs from December 1st, 2016 to January 4th, 2017 at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Players who are eligible are users who have previously purchased and registered Final Fantasy XIV, all registered service accounts that, it, er, that are inactive during this period, and a registered service account has uh, had to have been inactive for at least 30 days. So if you want the full details of the campaign, you can click the link in the description below for more information. Final Fantasy XV is getting free content updates. Director Tabata released an official statement via the Square Enix blog, and I'll read it here for you now. I hope you're all enjoying Final Fantasy XV. It's been exciting to see players from around the world take to this new style of Final Fantasy. Thanks to your support, we ship 5 million units worldwide on our release day. We are truly grateful to all of you who picked up a copy. As I've said before, release day is not the end for Final Fantasy XV, and I would like to share some things that I have in store. The great reception that we've received has actually allowed us to expand our plans even further. We want you to enjoy Final Fantasy XV for a long time to come. We have been listening to your ideas on how to make the game experience even better. So in addition to the previously announced content, we'll be providing free updates to the game throughout the coming year. Our early plans are to enrich certain aspects of the game, adding gameplay enhancements for Chapter 13 buffing, ring, magic, etc. We'll have the specifics on what and when for you at a later date. After that, we're hoping to delve deeper into the story, adding scenes that will give you new insight into character motivations, such as why Revis walked the path he did. We will need a little time with these, as they need to be localized and voiced in other languages, but we'll let you know the details once everything is set. For the long term, we are looking at making certain key characters playable, and even considering the possibility of customizable avatars. In addition to the other features over time, other features we have in mind include letting you carry over stats from previous playthroughs, and adding items that introduce new playstyles such as low level runs and god mode. We're also examining readability tweaks, increasing font size for certain languages, on top of that we're looking at content you can enjoy in real time, including new bosses with exclusive rewards and achievements, and limited time hunts. In addition to these free updates, we're also working on previously announced downloadable content. This includes the Holiday Pack, the Booster Pack, the Episode Gladius, the Episode Ignis, the Episode Prompto, and the Expansion Pack Comrades. Speaking on behalf of the development team, I hope all of you around the world continue to enjoy Final Fantasy XV and the Final Fantasy series. Tabata, director of Final Fantasy XV. Lastly, you can now buy tickets for the stream for Japan Fan Fest. While the stream will be in Japanese, they will have English summaries between the events. Along with the stream, you'll be able to get a new minion and your pick of special gear that they've offered before. The price of the stream will be $30 and the event runs from December 23rd to December 24th. If you purchase the stream, you'll actually be able to watch the archive later, as well as you can buy the stream up to August 31st, 2017. So in case you missed it and you want to pick up the gear or you want to see the video after the events have aired. If you want to read full details in, about the schedule of events, you can see the link in the description below. And that's all the news I have for you right now. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, as well as hit that like button if you like this news break, and we'll be sure to do more in the future. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Brian for work to game and I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.